Hi, my name is Kendra and I'm going to be talking about the top five things I liked about Sleepy Hollow's newest episode, which is titled The Lesser Key of Solomon. So one of the things that I liked about this newest episode was Mr. Crane um, talking to the customer service rep in the car service that Abby has. And he was explaining to her his life story pretty much about him and his wife Katrina and what made it hilarious was that at the end of the story we find out that the customer rep started crying because she was so like you know she felt so deeply about what uh, Crane just told her and I think it was probably just how Crane said it like the romantic words he used and um, his British accent so I thought that was really funny and also he's very proper and I thought he was really generous to the customer service rep which not everybody is you know in modern times so I thought it was a really great scene to put that like in the beginning the second thing that I liked was uh, Tom Misson who plays Crane in Sleepy Hollow. Uh, I really liked his acting in this episode from his facial expressions to his body movements. It's just really excellent. Like Thomason really plays Crane greatly and I enjoy how he makes the character react to certain things like if someone annoys him he has this facial expression or if you he, if he's being brave at the moment you know he has another facial expression and it makes it just like really believable and when you're watching um, Tom Misson on TV you kind of forget that the television show you actually really think you're watching somewhat of like a like a real life current event because he does the character so well. The third thing that I liked was Abby and Jenny's meeting with each other for the first time in a few years and that scene was also the first time that the audience got to see the two sisters interact and I feel like that whole scene was very intense. Both sisters had their guns pointed at each other, no one was backing down, they were both threatening each other. It was very exciting stuff to watch and um, I thought it was hilarious how Crane had to be the one who calmed them both. He's kind of like the mediator between the two and I did think it was great how he got on them both for being in the wrong. It shows that Crane is not like picking sides and I think that's just what makes him a great guy. Another thing that I liked was that we get to learn more about the evil forces in Sleepy Hollow. So the demon with the horns on his head, um, he was also in episode one, is pretty much the leader of all this evil. He's the one who called upon the horseman and he has henchmen who for the past episodes have been like messing things up in Sleepy Hollow, you know, like causing chaos. And so pretty much Abby and Crane are going to have to go against this demon and I'm um, pretty curious on how they're exactly going to do that because this demon actually knows about Abby and Crane and Jenny because I think once you see him he kind of automatically gets inside your body somewhere somehow and he um sees your heart and he knows about your past and he knows about your name so that was pretty scary watching that and you could tell by the characters faces especially Abby and Crane they were like super fearful. Jenny, she didn't really seem that scared, probably because she's gone through a lot, so like nothing really scares her that much. She just gets angry. Um, so yeah, we that was like one of the things that I liked about this episode is that now we don't have like this whole thing of guessing who it is, like who's the evil person. Um, I know some were thinking that the captain, Captain Frank, was part of the evil forces but I don't think he's evil I think he's actually a good guy I do think he's holding a lot of information just because um he turns up a lot of places and just like the look on his face but um we do know that he's not the evil one it's the demon with the horns so the fifth thing that I liked about the episode was Crane and Jenny's relationship um I'm really happy that the writers put Jenny more into the series and that hopefully she'll be like working more with Abby and Crane on you know cases and missions and stuff because Crane and Jenny they seem to started a friendship that's very 
understanding and lighthearted. It seems like they joke. I kind of imagine them joking about Abby and stuff like that, making fun of her. But I don't know, maybe not. But I kind of see like their relationship could possibly be something fun. And um, I noticed that with Abby, Crane is more serious. He's you know more protective and they have more of like a partnership teamwork and with Jenny it's you know it's different obviously because they're two different people and he's just kind of like learning more about her but I do see like their interaction with each other and I think it's just really lighthearted. and those two um Jenny and Crane are probably going to be my one of my top favorite relationships slash friendships in the new series so those were the top five things that I liked about the newest Sleepy Hollow episode, which is called The Lesser Key of Solomon. Um, also, next week's episode looks really, really good. If you have not checked out the promo, I suggest you do that. And to learn more about Sleepy Hollow and to be like updated on the news, you can also go to my website, which is palfinfatale.com, and I write about the show there too.